Introducing Staff Sergeant Michael England, dedicated crew chief of Aircraft 93. From the induction ceremony to the flight line and it's right to work for these airmen who earned a job title that doesn't exactly fall in your lap. This is her. This is my baby. To, to be a dedicated crew chief, you need to be highly dedicated. Um, it's, it's a huge responsibility. Your name is on that aircraft. You're handpicked as a dedicated crew chief uh, by, your, by your, your supervisor, your leadership. Uh, it's, it's, it's a huge honor to, to be a dedicated crew chief. Maintaining the most lethal fighter jet isn't easy. And for newly inducted dedicated crew chief, Staff Sergeant Michael England, it's not one he takes lightly. As a dedicated crew chief, it's my responsibility to make sure that this is a safe and reliable aircraft. Both. Both to make sure that that happens and that the guy doing that comes back safely. The title says dedicated crew chief. I mean, you have to be dedicated about it and put time and effort into what your name is on to make, to make yourself feel good about it. This is my aircraft, so I'm gonna keep it clean, make sure it looks pristine, so that when people walk up on the jet and see my name on it, they don't think, hey, you know, this guy doesn't care, because ultimately your aircraft's a direct reflection of the kind of crew chief that you are. A popular notion among those selected is the pressure is immense, but the honor is greater. Airman First Class Roswell Sartwell, Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida.